Welcome back to my G1 Retro Reviews. Today, we're taking a look at the original Transformers series episode, The God Gambit. In this episode, Astro Train plays God for a group of aliens, and the Autobots must stop him and rescue Cosmos. This episode begins with a bunch of aliens talking about religion and politics, which I am just going to pass right by, because while there is a lot I could say about this, and how it relates to the real world, which is probably why the writer put it in here in the first place. I'm just going to skip it because I don't want to get too political in this review right off the bat. I'm sure that these same themes will come up again throughout the episode. We then have our boy Cosmos flying through space, with Astro Train right behind him. Once again, another episode featuring these two space bots. They're definitely trying to set these two up as rivals. Astro Train, you're running out of energy. Silence thrust. I'm in complete control. Complete control. Maybe you should listen to thrust there, Astro Train. Otherwise, who knows? You may end up having to jettison some weight or something. So Astro Train blasts Cosmos, and he crashes onto this alien planet. Which turns out to not be a planet at all, but is actually one of Saturn's moons, Titan. Wait a minute, Titan? Isn't that where Thanos is from? The Transformers better be careful. They don't want to get snapped. Here's the church, here's the steeple. Open the doors, and where are the people? There are the people. <laughs> Why? Why is Starscream saying this? It seems so random for him to recite a human nursery rhyme with little to no reason. These fools worship Transformers. Hey, if you think these aliens worship Transformers, you should check out a TFCon sometime. So Astro Train wants to play God. If I claim to be their supreme God, they will bow to the Decepticons. Are you a God? Why should you be the supreme God? I'm a much better- You little- Quiet, Starscream. I've got a coronation to attend. Coronation, Starscream? This is bad comedy. Seriously, I wonder if this is where Starscream got the idea from. And maybe that's why Astro Train is so reluctant to crown Starscream in the movie. He was upset that he stole his idea. So Astro Train makes the mistake of basically showing Talaria how to reconnect Cosmos. Which she does. She has led the Autobots here, but they will not find her alive. Wow, they just murdered this alien woman. 80s cartoons were sure able to get away with a lot more back then. Oh no, it's just a commercial break. She's fine. Apparently Astro Train can fire lasers out of his cheeks? Jero shows the Decepticons a cave full of crystals, which are full of energy, and, as we'll learn later, highly explosive. Hmm, maybe these are actually Energon crystals, like in Beast Wars. The Autobots finally arrive on Titan, but Omega Supreme is out of energy and unable to move. We'll find Cosmos and his energy source, then come back for you. Just don't move. Sarcasm, not appreciated. So Jazz and Perceptor attempt to rescue Cosmos, but the Titan natives attack Jazz using arrows, with crystal fragments as their heads. Which kind of remind me of the ancient arrows from Breath of the Wild. Good thing they don't work like ancient arrows, otherwise Jazz would be a goner. Jazz and Percy are blasted away, and they eventually find themselves in a crystal cave, much like, if not the same one, that the Decepticons are mining. Oh, highly unstable crystallized energy! So, Jazz's first instinct is to hit the highly unstable energy crystals with a rock? Luckily, Percy stops him before it's too late. And there's the pool that leads to the chasm surrounding our plateau! Electric lava! The same substance as the crystals! Electric lava? What? You can't just glance over the fact that they invented electric lava in this episode. How would that even work? Perceptor refuels Omega Supreme with some of the Energon Crystals before he falls into the electric lava. By the way, that sounds like it would make for an awesome song title. <laughs> oh, 
Omega repels the Decepticons from the temple, and Astro Train sets off the crystals, triggering a massive explosion. Lord Astro Train, what about me? Die like, like the, the worm, worm you are! Ouch, harsh Astro Train. I like how Omega uses his tracks to make a bridge. And the episode ends with Cosmos finally being fixed. Poor little Cosmos. He basically sat out this whole episode. Well, this was a fun episode of G1. The people of Titan seem interesting. I would have liked to see them revisited in a future episode. Especially one in Season 3, where perhaps the people of Earth shared their technology with their neighbors? and we could see what complications that would cause taking a primitive society and giving them access to highly advanced tech. And of course, there's definitely a lesson in here about idol worship and listening to people who are untrustworthy and exploit your beliefs. But I think you can draw your own comparisons here. So be sure to let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff, and I'll see you here next time for the next episode of the original Transformers series, Make Tracks. Yes, we are finally getting a Tracks episode. So I can't wait to see you back here next week for that.